Sanctuary is a nonprofit out in Black Forest, and we serve as a host site for other nonprofits and organizations to come and have retreats there, do programming, summer camps, kind of just fulfill their mission out at Lafayette. Well, back in 1928, Alice Bemis Taylor, who started the Fine Arts Center here in Colorado Springs, um, it was her summer home. So her and her husband purchased about 500 acres of land out there and established um, pretty much a, a summer residence for themselves where they had artists come out and different friends and they, you know, enjoyed their time out there. Ponderosa Lodge, the huge lodge that everybody associates with Lafrey, um, that was the main summer home. Um, she stayed there, went out there probably two to six weeks every year. Alice B. Miss Taylor was, uh, you know, deeply rooted in art and architecture. It was one of her passions. So she actually worked with a man called um, Benedict. He did the botanical gardens up in Denver, if you're familiar with that. Um, and he was kind of this pioneer in establishing um, the rustic or Colorado alpine style, which we kind of know as the log cabin now. Um, but all the wood of Ponderosa was actually taken from the western slope of Pikes Peak. Um, he used all these natural touches. So the wood is all hand carved. Um, you know, there's little owls, uh, mountain lions, um, and then there's a lot of uh, wrought iron fixtures. And I don't know where the wrought iron actually came from. We've heard it's been from Manitou, sometimes from Denver, um, but it's actually hand hammered wrought iron. So um, there's the huge uh, wagon wheel chandelier that's in there, all hand carved. Um, everything in there is pretty much original down to the curtains that are in the main room. Original curtains from 1928. <laughs> um, in 1929, her husband actually unfortunately passed away. Um, she then built a chapel in memorial to him. Um, that chapel was built by John Gao Meme, who also built the Fine Arts Center um, in Colorado Springs. The chapel has some amazing reredus. Um, I can't roll my R's, so reredus. <laughs> <laughs> is how I call them. Um, but they're pretty, they're wood sculptures that are actually put into the chapel and it was made by a woman named Eugenie Schonard who is known for her sculpting. Um, ironically enough, I heard she didn't do a lot with wood or do a lot of her radios, but these are some that are in, in our chapel. Before Alice Bemis was there, you know, hundreds of years ago we're talking, um, Ute Indians actually settled at Lafarray and we do have a couple trees that were known as um, Ute Prayer and Ute Medicine Tree. So these trees, um, the Ute prayer trees, were actually manipulated by the Utes. They were tied down and they formed two 90 degree angles. So the story goes, and um, this is just from legend, I don't have much, much Ute knowledge, but the story goes that they would tie the tree down when it was very young and tie it down, bury tobacco leaves underneath and say a prayer for 400 years. And then they would be able to go back to that tree because as it grew, you know, it would go back to its original form. The main camp, as we call it, the cabins, the meadow, um, that comprises of about 100 to 150 acres. So that's where most of the people actually see Lafrey and stay. And meadow grass, which you know is coming up, um, that is actually held in our meadow. And our meadow is a huge area of land that for some reason um, none of the, there's not even trees that grow there. Um, it's not that they were milled or taken down like much of the other forest. There just isn't even you know, any record of trees being there. But when you stand at Ponderosa's back porch and look out towards the meadow, you see some of the best views of Pikes Peak that, that I can think of.